Hello everyone, I'm just doing a quick checkup for the masculine energy. Let's see what the masculine energy within each one of us is being guided to focus ourselves on so that we can ground ourselves and come into the present moment. The first word is quest. Earth. Journaling. Process. And the last one is present. What I'm hearing through and picking through the energy of these words is that the masculine um, side of us have recognized that wherever it is that we are, is um, as we've been here too long, too stuck, but now it's time to go on a journey. Um, whatever it may be, it could be journey outside in the physical world or it could be a journey that you have to take within yourself towards your soul. Either way, that journey is going to ground you. It's going to give you the opportunity to connect better to your um, stability, to your root chakra, to the physical world. It's going to help you. So don't be scared of taking the time out to go on a journey. Um, it could be traveling to another country or it could be just you know, going out with friends or something, but something to do with the journey. You've recognized that where you've been sitting have been sitting for too long and now it's time for you to journey forward to find your grounding. Once you find your grounding, you'll be able to do things differently. You will be able to journal them. Journaling means like doing things in the physical world with your hands, writing. Uh, it could be more creative. It could be singing. It could be dancing. It could be whatever it is that you've been dreaming of doing. You're being asked to journey so that you feel more grounded in yourself and to do the thing that you're here to do um, and understand that the process has already begun. You might want, you might actually look at the process and say, um, I'm not ready for this or I don't know what it is. And it gives you like a feeling of, you know, how will I do this? How can I do this? When will I do this? And all these egoistic sort of the mental, the mind chatter sort of takes over the, and, and the process is really affecting your mental health at this moment in time and you're being asked to not look at the process the way you are aware of in your awareness but actually be open to anything and everything that comes your way and let the process happen on its own try not to hold it or control it too much um try to just let things sort of take the way that they are meant to um and allow yourself to be fully present like there's a lot of times when we are making our steps forward towards that what we want to do and towards the, our mental and physical and spiritual and religious and cultural stability, we um, fear the process and we forget that all this can only happen if you are in the present moment. If you keep living in the past, you will never be able to recognize that that's the path that you have to take. So you have to become fully present in this moment in time to move forward into that what you um, dream to do and what your soul's calling is. So be very, very present. Don't get holding yourself down um, thinking about the past and don't get too scared about the process and the future because this is this is sadness and this is fear but you're being asked to come into the present moment to fully love yourself and um, allow yourself to be loved also be giving and receiving um, in this present moment i hope this helps you uh, bring you some kind of clarity I'm gonna leave the words here and see if i can get a guidance for masculine energy let's see what we get guided for the masculine energy let's see i get three cards which fall down it's life purpose you're being really asked to go towards your life purpose you're being asked to go within yourself on a journey within yourself means like physical or like move away um, from wherever you are uh, and take a break from your normal life, normal day-to-day -day thing, and go within so that you can focus on what your life purpose is. Like, go for meaning in your life. Go for towards that what gives you meaning. And these are the two cards. Usually, I take them opposite. You, you, you're finding that 
first of all, you're finding that you're not deserving of love. And that's why you're stopping and sabotaging whatever it is that you are here to do. So you're being asked to um, walk towards the union of love and free yourself from fears because you're really, really in your head at the moment um, and you're entangling yourself. But you recognize that you need and you want to go towards love. You want to go towards you. You want to go towards the purpose of your life. But your fears, actually you are, this one says face your fears. Um, and so you're, and look how the process is also upside down um, the other way and face your fears is also. So you're not facing your fears head on. You are going in your head in a loop and that's making you not be in your present moment. So you're being asked to really um, come back, come back to you. Let's see if we get guided on how you can do that. How can the masculine energy come back to itself this is beautiful it says enjoy the silence in a world of constant clamor silence can be pure pleasure it can be provided it can provide a haven and allow your own melodies to flourish Seek out the quiet corners. Enjoy the liberating space to provide. Fill the silent space with calm and thoughts and revive your spirits. And getting this, enjoy the silence is enjoy the journey and know that it is about silencing your past and silencing your future. Like I said, you're really, really in your head. So you're being asked to silence that and enjoy and come into the present moment and become very still. And it also says, stop being a victim. Take a hard look at yourself. Are you a willing victim? Do you take the line of least resistance, then blame others or circumstances or fate? It's a matter of pride and self-respect and the respect of others. Stand up for yourself, for your rights and your beliefs. Others will appreciate your efforts and surprisingly, many will help you. So it's time for you to take action and stop playing the victim because everything around you that happened did not happen to you, it happened for you. So you're being asked to stop being a victim, take control of your life, kind of hold your life together, come into the present moment and know that you are worth loving, worth uh, living a life which is meaningful and being in love with whoever it is and whatever it is that you choose and want to be in love with. I hope that helps you in some way. Sending you lots of love, everyone. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.